I received a message requesting a how-to video for a custom wine bottle using the UPS logo. In today's video, I'll show you the three design ideas I came up with. Emmy has recreated one of my bottles in the past as a gift for her son, and she did an amazing job. I hope you like one of the three designs, or at the very least, that it inspires you enough to get you started. Let's get to it! Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to work on is the logo I used on all three bottles. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm just showing you the programs I actually use. You want to Google the UPS PNG logo. Click on the images. Find the one you like and open the page. Before downloading any photo onto your computer, you have to make sure the website is safe. I have a Chrome extension on my laptop called Web of Trust. This extension is free and it lets you know what websites are safe. Once I know the site is safe, I right click on my mouse and save the image. Now that the image is downloaded, I will need to size it. For this, you can use any free online photo editor. I used Adobe Express to show you. Click on Get Adobe Express Free. It will prompt you to create an account, but if you have a Gmail, you can use that to sign up quickly. I already have an account, so it automatically opens up to the program. Once you're in the program, click on Documents. Scroll until you find the standard 8.5 by 11 size sheet. Click on Upload from Device. And then click on the UPS logo you saved. Now you have it on the page. You can grab it and move it. And you can duplicate it by right clicking the logo and choosing Duplicate. And if you pull on the corners, you can change the size. What I usually do is create a bunch of different sizes on a page. This way, I have options. Once I filled the page, I downloaded it to my computer. And lastly, you want to print it out. I like to use laser printouts because I don't have to take the extra steps to make sure the color doesn't run. I go to my local library or Staples to get my printouts. But remember, any company that provides printing services will be using a laser printer. I created this image the same way. I googled UPS clip art. Now that I have all the printouts, I can show you how I created all three bottle designs. You can create any of the three designs on a full or empty bottle. Depending on the bottle design, you might have to remove all the labels. I chose a brown wine bottle to match the UPS logo. For the first one, I came up with a simple and classic design. I wanted to add color to the neck of the bottle. I had some gold ribbon I could have used or this bling wrap, but I decided to go with a gold metallic paint. If you're going to use a full bottle of wine, don't paint the neck all the way up. Only paint up to the part right before it protrudes. Remember, you're using toxic crafting materials that aren't safe for consumption. Leaving that lip untouched will ensure no one gets sick.
Next, I glued on the logo, making sure it was completely adhered. And then I glued a smaller one onto the neck. You can leave it as is or outline it with liquid pearls. Lastly, you can add a string like cork and be done. Or you can take it a step further and make it more personal. Add a special message on the back with the liquid pearls. Or draw a stack of packages to create a custom card to write your special message in. Write a cute message and glue it onto the back of the bottle. You can make them as detailed as you want by adding ribbon or jute twine. Think packages and letters and let your creativity run wild. If you're not great at drawing, you can find an image online and take the same steps as you did for the logo to print it out. For my second idea, I decided to do a multimedia rustic look, turning the bottle into the package itself. I started by cutting up a paper bag.
Using Mod Podge and a brush, I decoupage the whole bottle using the paper bag pieces. I then added the UPS logo and all the embellishments. Add a gift tag and write something special. I then added the last logo to finish it off. And just like the first one, you can leave it as is or add your own personal touch. For example, you can write a letter or grab a picture and place it in the bottle by rolling it up. Now you have a special package that's also a message in a bottle. For my last idea, I decided to go full glam. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> Before adding all the rhinestones, I decoupaged the logo onto the bottle and used it as a template. Now for my favorite part, adding all the bling.
after all that work, keeping true to my nature, I changed my mind and decided the bottom would look better pink. I left the last section empty to match the lip. And I think I made the right call because it really pulled the entire look together. And that's a wrap for this video. I truly enjoyed creating all three designs, but my personal favorite is the packaged one. It's unique and outside of my usual style. What a lovely way to receive a special letter, some scripture, a poem, or even a picture. As I mentioned earlier, these designs can be applied to a full bottle of wine. Just remember not to add any crafting products to the lip of the bottle. I had a blast making these designs. And if you have any requests or ideas for me to try next, please leave them in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful and that it inspired you to create something of your own. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other DIY projects. And if you haven't already, sign up for my email list by sending a message to craftyfamnotification at gmail.com.